What's up everybody and welcome back to Ubante Garage. So today I'm going to be doing a five things I love about the Honda CRZ. For you guys that are interested in buying this car or thought about it. So I'm going to go ahead and make this for you guys because our community is actually really small. And I know there's a lot of people out there that like these cars. There's just not many out there on the road driving around. So let's go ahead and get to this. But before we start that, we're almost to 600 subscribers. If not, we just passed it. But I just want to let you guys know that at 700 subscribers, we are going to be starting the post for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway that I got going on. I'm going to be doing a front splitter and side skirt extensions for this giveaway completely free for somebody lucky in the United States. Sorry guys, shipping's really expensive out of the state, so I'll figure it out. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Hit that subscribe button and let's get that done. But let's go ahead and start this. Five things I love about this car. So if you guys like how the car looks right now, it's a little beat up, I'm not gonna lie, but it is super clean. And I'd like to thank All Pros Auto Detail San Diego for doing that. I'm gonna go put his Instagram right here so you guys can definitely go check him out. If you guys are local, I highly recommend him. Anyways, the first thing I wanna say that I love about this car is the interior. This is the 2014 door cards. They are blacked out. And this is a 2011 CRZ. As you can see, the interior is gray and black, but what I love is the 2013 plus models that are all blacked out like this. So all the gray is actually black. It looks way better. So if you're gonna get a CRZ, I recommend you don't get the 11s and you go for the 13s plus because those have way better interiors. But I mean, you can still paint everything or replace it. But that is how I feel about this. I love how even though it's 2019, I feel like this interior is so advanced. All these buttons and everything, maybe because this is the newest car I've ever owned, but if you ask me for a 2011, the interior for this car is absolutely stunning. You got the three modes here for sport, normal, or eco mode. Everything's in arm reach, you know, it's pretty nice. You got the AC control right here and base model radios, whatever, it's ugly. But the EX models do have a nice touchscreen display that are pretty damn good looking again the seats are super comfortable by the way these are seat covers but the oem seats are way more comfortable than the seat covers it's just the 2011s come with these funky gray ones they get dirty so once again i recommend you don't get the 11 and you go for a 13 plus the rear seats there is no rear seats and as you can see there are storage compartments here and the rear seat backing is just this funky plastic heavy thing and that makes the rear really big so that's why i leave the rear down making the back of the car have maximum space possible this is the trunk it's pretty nice you got privacy cover the cool thing is you can do it up top or you can actually put it down here boom and use it like that to cover whatever you want back here so it's kind of like having a net you just have like this little spot and then you can use the rest over here i really like that design so the 11 and 12s actually come with a spare tire which i don't have but the 13 pluses do not come with this and they just come with a tire patch kit, I believe. So I guess that's one thing the 11 12s have that are better. Don't mind this hole. I had traded the guy that I got this roll bar from his panels because he didn't want the holes that he cut in them. This is where the subwoofer would be. The EXs do come with subwoofer, so just got my emergency kit in there. Works just fine. Number two, the second thing I love about the Honda CRZ has to be the miles per gallon. The fuel economy, of course it's a hybrid and it definitely needs to hold up to its hybrid name and get decent fuel economy. And by decent, I mean just decent because, you know, this isn't a Prius. It has a completely different hybrid system. The Prius, it can run off of its batteries alone, but the CRZ, 
is just an assisted hybrid battery. So when you need the juice, it uses the battery instead of consuming the extra fuel. So see what kind of fuel we're getting on here. Average fuel in approximately 107 miles is 31.8 miles per gallon in 107 miles. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, you need to remember that this isn't on the stock wheels. This is actually on the CE28s that have 245, 40, 17 wheels on them. They're lightweight, but the tires that I have on them currently are track spec and super sticky. So it kills the gas mileage. When I have the stock CRZ wheels on the CRZ, I actually pick up up to 10 extra miles per gallon just off changing off my wheels. So it's crazy how big of a factor that does, but obviously it's what would happen. But anyways, you gotta love the fuel economy. I replaced my old Civic with my CRZ and I saved so much more money just off of that. So that's pretty great. And fuel economy, what I love about the Honda CRZ would have to be how cheap they are. If you go on Craigslist, you can actually find CRZs for so stupid cheap, especially if you don't mind getting a salvage one. You probably get them for just as much as you get a high-ish mile CRZ that's used for, but the salvage usually has low miles and they look pretty good still. I mean, they're salvaged for a reason. They fixed them and they're reselling them. So if you don't mind salvage, you could probably find a CRZ with 50K for probably five to 6,000 bucks. But definitely gotta love the used prices from private sellers for the CRZ. It's ridiculous. I bought my CRZ for 11.5 and honestly, I don't regret it because this is the very first car that I've driven 50,000 plus miles in very first car I've ever owned that long and off of savings alone I crunched it a long time ago and that's off going 42 miles per gallon versus what I was getting in my Civic which was 26 and after 150,000 miles you basically pay off your entire car and that's talking about 11,500 bucks so if you buy a CRZ for 6,000 and it lasts for a hundred thousand miles you basically got a free car just off gas savings alone so that's one thing to think about when you have the crz all right so number four on the crz would have to just be the way the crz looks i don't know if you guys are a fan of the crz or not if you're watching this video it's probably because you are and you're just like me this is the crz stock body does have a Mugen spoiler, well, Wugen. I got the 2014 rear diffuser in black, so it looks like the newer model. Honestly, the newer ones only have a different front bumper and a different rear diffuser. Everything else is the same as this model. So if you're looking for a good price CRZ, which will probably be an 11 to a 14, um, this is probably what it'll look like. Just with a slightly different front bumper, super dope. So many of the parts for this car are so cheap. I'm talking about the replica parts, you know, the authentic parts like the Jay's parts that I have, the Jay's grill. Those are still normal JDM prices, of course. They're like five, four hundred. Stupid expensive. But I talked about the Mugen spoiler earlier. This is a replica and it looks so perfect next to the real one. So things like the side skirts I have for this car are so dope. You can't even tell the difference other than small little things. And it's just awesome how easy you can make these cars look good. And who doesn't like a good looking car, especially for a fraction of the price of a real thing. I mean, I understand the whole authentic parts thing. I've done a build all authentic and I get it. I love doing that. Also, I'm going to be doing that with the CRZ when I have the money for it. And I'm going to be doing that with the evil when I have money for it. But that's just something that I can understand where people come from. And that's just what I like to do when I first get a car. I like to make it look good with replica pieces. So I know what to do when I actually go full authentic and want to make my car everything I ever wanted it to be. Number five. We need to go hop back into the car for this one. Obviously, you guys don't know what it could possibly be. It is most definitely that this thing is actually six speed. This car is the only hybrid that I know of that actually comes in a manual transmission. And if you guys don't care about that, don't know why you wouldn't, but that is the greatest thing about this car. You got 
the six speed, you got the miles per gallon, you got the looks. You can even swap it. You have everything that a tuner would want other than instant power, but this car is perfect. It's cheap, really good looking, great commuter car, great for modifying. And with that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be closing it out there. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you guys hit that subscribe button. It's right here, it's my logo. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Thanks guys.